a lot of our frontline staff are exhausted, so a lot of the funding that we provide at Cripplegate Foundation and Islington Giving is really about core funding. Giving local community decision making power about where money goes and about where wealth is, that is the answer and we want to promote that. It's just ensuring that those young people are always involved in that process and it's really trying to get that more into our funding streams basically. Funders, you know, they, they have stretch capacity, they have concerns about risk, but actually if we work together um, and see um, kind of people seeking funding and people giving the funding as partners um, trying to kind of solve the challenges across London, that then that's the way forward and actually having relationships based on trust uh, feels to me a really worthwhile um, kind of aim for us all to have. Ensuring the people, the beneficiaries of the funding are at the forefront of shaping the decisions around who gets funding, how you access it. London is a city that is diverse in its interests, in its needs, in its passions and our members reflect that. So actually having a membership of nearly 180 organisations interested in all these different things is really just a testament to the city that we all really love and care about as well. So that excites me, the fact that there's potential for collaboration and partnerships within this as well. The biggest bit of learning that I've seen in my time with London Funders is the power of collaboration. When you bring together community voice, when you bring together people who really understand what's going on in our communities, with funders who are passionate about making a difference to our city and to our communities, we can achieve great things together. We've seen it with the Grenfell Tower funding collaboration, we've seen it with the London Community Response collaboration through COVID, and we're seeing it now through a new 10-year funding programme called Propel, looking at long-term systemic issues that affect our communities.